This isn't gay, I'm using it for reference. How you doing? This is another installment of Adobe Illustrator. We draw shit. Okay, let's get on to this. First drop the opacity outline. Pretty sure this was the fucking Chuck E. Cheese rat that was found in a landfill. I am drawing with no colors. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're going to save because last time I almost lost my shit. Go up to another layer. Alright. This would look kick-ass in a living room. I would snag this in a heartbeat if I saw this in a Goodwill. I don't even know what the fuck I'd do with it. I have some mannequins in my living room. They're my sons, George and Jeb Bush. I have a pretty big fur coat that I put on my favorite son, which is George Bush, of course. They're named after the presidents, if you didn't know. Well, president and should have been president, in my political opinion. Not because I agree with his policies or anything like that, I just think it would have been funny. Along with everybody else in 2016. Redo this arm, it'll just look better. I don't even know what the fuck is what here. I've never seen a robot with a rib cage. This is just gonna have to be his arm. I don't know where anything is here. His ass is in the way. It's too fucking big. That looks good. I readdress his leg. I don't even know how this thing is standing. Nice, very cool leg. It's got an arched foot. I'm pretty sure that's healthy, but I don't actually know. Tell me if you have arched feet. That's not a foot fetish thing. Just a desperate attempt for engagement. Color it, random colors. Yeah, okay. Well, this doesn't exactly look right. Oh, fuck. Coming into this, I was thinking more Mickey Mouse. Now, I'm really thinking McDonald's. Some people are on the same wavelength as me. I don't even watch soccer. What the fuck even happened to these guys? Why don't we see them anymore? I want his big friendly eyes and eyebrows. Rotate too much. Fuck. Now we have to start counting the trajectory of this shit. There we go. Delete. My, what beautiful eyes you have. Brows. The main conveyor of emotion. Let's take a step back. Give him eyes. That will look directly into your soul. Fix his nose a little bit. Oh, fuck it. Switch. Instead of a rat, now he's whatever the fuck that is. That kind of reminds me of the face I make when I touch something slimy and I think. I guess the world really is our oyster. I think that we should focus on his dump truck ass. This isn't gay. I'm using it for reference. I'm just, I'm just making sure it's, I'm just making sure it's accurate. That's all. I just, I want this to look realistic. I'm going to need to make this mouse a little bigger. I guess he's now walking. Of course I chose the one without feet. I don't even know who this is. Damn, this dude's got some thighs. No homo. No homophobic. Voila. That is an ass. If that thing walked by you, you know what I'm saying, you know. Too much ass. Not enough torso. How did this happen? Motherfucker only does leg day. Little toothpick arms. Nothing there, but there's something there. God damn. You know what? This is taking an unexpected turn. Snatched waist. It's too snatched. Poor attempt at feet. They don't even look the same. Gotta make this look a little natural. This big ass leg, I think that's what's fucking me up right now. Do something about this right here. Oh, there we go. That was the move. If she doesn't look like this, I won't even talk to her. Since we're sexualizing a dumpster rat, I'm thinking crab claws. Time for crab. Thank god all of these images are huge, but this is a little extreme. Transform that. 50. Another 50. One more time. We want them to be feminine, and petite, not masculine, and too big. Reflect. Thank god some fucking psychopath decided to chop off the hands of some poor crab and then post them on the internet. I'd be shit out of luck if they didn't. Try to get some of these bumps. I think these bumps are good. They add something to the vibe of the crab. Alright, like I said, small and feminine hands. Okay. Rotate. God, I wish I could do math. We'll say that that's good enough. Crab claws, after all, are easier to draw than human hands. But that is sheerly because of the fact that you have seen more human hands than you have crab claws. We'll come back and we'll add bumps to the claws later to give it that very frightening crab look. Okay. 
I don't know how I'm going to actually go about drawing this when it comes to texturing. It looks like she has a little bird on her hand, uh, like little vultures. I'd say it's probably time to start texturing this because we have very little reference. Where the fuck is a waste on a thing like this? Clothes? Question mark. Very revealing. Daisy Dukes. I have no plan here. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I might, I might act up in a moment if this fucking monster doesn't <laughs> calm down. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, now you can connect. I'm gonna hope that this looks right. I'm gonna connect these bad boys right here. Hell yeah. Oh, that's hot. I have no fucking direction with this. Now it's just in its underwear. In a dumpster. Which is honestly probably where it belongs. I wish I was more capable of knowing wh what these things might look like. Hmm, maybe I should just go back to this. I think, honestly, I liked it. I think I like it more. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna undo what I did. I'm gonna make this a nose again. It looks better too, I think. We'll keep Grimace's eyes. Alright. Oop. Alright. Show me the rat. I need to fix this nose, actually. But maybe it was also the left side. Let's give it some rat-like colors. I'm going to do this so much to the point to where I will actually unironically become good at drawing. And once I have that ability, I'll be unstoppable. I will be able to draw whatever the fuck I want. But right now, I'm drawing tits on a mouse. Girls just wanna have fun. We kind of need it. Mouse belly button. And while we're on the subject, I'm just securing my place in hell more and more every day. <clears throat> She do be looking bad though. Let's make her kawaii. Hell yeah. It doesn't look scary anymore. I use that term very loosely. Okay, let's focus more on the claws now. Let's save this color right here. Take the color away. Okay. Do this. We're going to make a layer underneath this. We're gonna make this one the movable part of the claw. This is implying that this crab mouse thing. Crabs have an exoskeleton. But mice, as you know, do not. What I'm raising the question of here is, is this fur on the crab's pinchers, or is it shell? And the more I think about it, the less I want to know. I'm going to make this little section right here. And then we're going to try to draw ones that kind of go against it. And then this, I think, is just going to be white. Okay. Shoes. And by shoes, I mean crisp Air Force Ones. No, not the plane. God damn it. But she's basic, so they're white. Scale. Again. One more time. Looks good. Rotate. Damn it, here maybe. No. They need to be smaller. Too small. Put the 80. Just right. Yeah, I could put a foot in there. Just want ankles for this one. We all know the black Air Force One trope, right? You, know, you see somebody wearing black Air Force Ones, don't fuck with them. I remember there was one time I went over to a friend's house and she had some guy there. Uh, and this guy was wearing white Air Force Ones, which I mean, okay, that's normal. But the thing that spooked me, the thing that shook me to my core was when this man in white Air Force Ones, brand new, stepped into a fire pit and cleaned out the logs, just getting ash and soot everywhere all over his fucking air force ones in my opinion that is more scary than somebody that wears black air force ones somebody that is willing to get white air force ones dirty those people fucking scare me get the tongue of the shoe now bring to front white what am i doing to make this more white put the ankles in there I've never seen an ankle in my life. Holy shit. Okay, that's horrible. That's not what feet look like. I need to fix this. That's a little better. Group these. I'm not gonna worry too much on the detail on the shoes. After all, that's not what people are going to be looking at when they see this thing. Perfect. Okay. Then we're going to work on this other claw. Reflect. Okay. make this darker blue to create the illusion that it is behind it. 
That's shading in a nutshell, if you didn't know. Don't fucking judge me, I'm doing this for art. Damn it. That's a stupid idea anyway. This little rat here is going through a lot of stress. I mean, first off, it fucking exists, so I imagine that that's probably pretty stressful. We're going to give this rat some beautiful green eyes. Your pupils dilate when you see something that you like. Anyway, that's really all that I can think of to do with this. I am just going to cut my losses here. I might come back to this, but that probably will never happen. Feel free to subscribe and like or dislike or leave a mean and discouraging message in the comments. That's it. Goodbye.